Live Tools or Live Video Bench. Today I'm going to solve your Live Tools storage problem. I recently restored this old lathe that I was given and I don't have anywhere in my workshop to set up a dedicated lathe station yet but all my walls have stuff so uh, it just sort of sits on my bench when I need it and then I put it on the floor or poke it somewhere when I don't need it. Uh, but one of the main problems is I got given some old tools and I bought some nice tools and I don't have anywhere to store them, they just sit on the bench so I need something I can just easily pick up move into a corner when I'm not using it and then just bring it all to there so I've got all my tools at hand um, nice and easily, something stable that won't get knocked over. So I've got a few ideas and we'll pump them out now. You don't need much to complete this project, just uh, a piece of MDF, not very big, some PVC pipe that you can get from any hardware store. Uh, I've got two different sizes here so it just depends on the thickness of your tool. So, um, my tools seem to fall into these two categories. First step is just to measure approximately where you want the um, handles to sit. So around there, just where it starts to get a bit fatter. Hold up your finger. On my crosscut sled, I've just set up a quick stop block for the length I want. And we're just going to cut the PVC pipe. So I've put my miter gauge back on and I've set it to an angle of 20 degrees and all we're going to do is just take a little cut off here just off the end just for decorative purposes only. Now to make the box that's going to hold everything together I've set my rip fence at about 5 inches or 125 mil and I'm just going to cut this bit of MDF down. The dimensions of your box aren't super critical. All you need to do is just work it out from your pipe. So I'm gonna make mine eight tools across. So I'll set my stop block at exactly the width of eight of these, and that'll make the front and the back of the, of the box. For the base of the box, I'm gonna cut dados in the bottom of, of all the walls. So what I've done is I've moved my fence about 10 millimeters off the blade and set the blade to about half the depth of the, the walls. So I'm going to run them all through, then I'm going to move it over a little bit until I can just get the exact width of this piece of MDF. So I'm just doing a bit of a test fit here. I've cut out all my walls of the box. So I've cut dados in the bottom of it that the floor will sit into. Um, I've also cut a little shim. So I've got two different size pipes. So uh, you just want a shim in between the two different sizes so they line up nice and straight. Uh, and I'm just gonna stick it together with glue and brad nails. Okay, now I've got it clamped up, I'm just going to fill in the gaps on the sides where the dados uh, blasted through. I use Timbermate, I uh, find, find it quite good, it lasts a long time. And while I'm waiting for the box to dry, I'm going to paint these. We're going to get a nice pukey yellow, so they're nice and bright. Uh, I've made this little, um, this little spray station, so just a stick, stick it on, spray it. Just a little tip when you're spray painting, just light sprays, because once you get a drip, that's the end of it, that wrecks it. Hey, did you see that I reached 10,000 subscribers last week? Um, I'm super happy about reaching that milestone, so a big thank you for everyone who subscribes and comments and participates on our Facebook, Google Plus page, Twitter, everything. Uh, I really do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay, what I did, I went ahead and I just painted the box blue, and then I just had some uh, old kitchen handles, I just stuck them on the end. Uh, what I like about this design is this thing will hold 22 tools, so when you think about one of those wall racks or one of those longer racks, you know, 22 tools is going to be a thing like that, so we're going to compact it all into a little size like this. Uh, so all I need to do is line up, get my big pieces of pipe, they're going to go at the back, I'm going to run them in first and then I'll uh, hot glue them in place. 
I've just got this little spacer cut to width. Seeing I've got two different size pipes, I just need to separate them. Uh, these ones won't, the little ones won't need hot gluing because I've got that measured so it's a tight fit. Now it's time to load it up. There you go, nice little quick and easy project. You can smash this thing out in no time. Uh, you can paint it, not paint it, whatever you like. Um, this holds 22 tools, so in a very small space as well, so I can pick this up, put it out of the way when I'm not using it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy little project that you can smash out in an afternoon, no problems at all. Um, click here for some more project videos, I hope you enjoy those as well. And please subscribe to our channel, we'd love to have you on board. Also, thank you for everyone for helping us reach our 10,000 subscriber mark last week. Actually, we're on 11,000 today, so growing very quickly, so that's great. I really do appreciate your support and you know, encourages us to get out there and make more things for you.